Hello and welcome my friends, it's Rob here from Explominate here with The Wandering Village, which is a game I checked in with a while ago, but it's about to enter into early access, so you're about to be able to access it yourself. So we've been given early access to the early access, and I figured I'd check in and see what it's all about, because it has a tutorial now, it has a variety of different difficulty settings, and it also just has a lot of new like UI updates. And a lot of the like old stand-in art has been replaced with the good art. And honestly, I really like the art style of this game. So I'm glad that to see to see that they've made a lot of progress. So we're gonna go ahead and do this, okay? So you guys can read the tutorial thing here. But what that means is we're gonna go ahead and follow through these notes here. It says open the elder's notebook. We can go through and look at all the stuff as we want to, but we're not going to. We're gonna pause the game and then we're going to speed it up to four speed. Very good. All right, so we're gonna take two speed. So enter the onbu view. On onbu view. <laughs> try the saying that four times fast, three times fast, any times fast. World map. And we can use four, five, and six. Four, five, six. Oh, that's cool. All right, construct at least six tents. Let's do that. All right, so we're gonna pull up the building menu here, and we're gonna build six tents. So we're gonna hold shift down. One, two, three. One, two, three, and then we're gonna probably do, no, let's just do a mineral. Very good, and then we're gonna, we're gonna draw a little road too. Why not? We'll make the road a little bit longer so we can build more stuff. And we'll hit unpause. Also, we'll, we'll have them, I think they're good now. Yeah, they've got, they had enough wood, I think. So now that they're building, we're gonna go ahead and Take more wood. And we'll also take a lot of that there. A lot of those bushes so that we can have some more berries for food. Because food's good. It is good for you. And for me. And for all of us. Construct at least eight tents now. Okay, so let's do another two. We'll do one on each side there. And we continue. I'll, sp I'll speed up to four speeds so that we can get through this tutorial pretty quickly. All right. Construct at least 10. Won't do it. Do it. There we go. All right. So we've completed that. Place a berry gatherer. So that's here. No, it's here. All right. We'll place the berry gatherer here. Actually, we'll place it close to the berries. How about that? That makes some more sense, doesn't it? It's efficiency 40%. 45, 18, that's not very good, 22, oh, those are in the way, so let's go ahead and put them at 40%, that's good enough, 30%, 36, how did we get 40%, where was that, 36% it is, <laughs> lord, I was trying to do better than that, but I guess I cannot. All right, so prioritize any task. So we'll hit a priority. There we go. Prioritize that task. Do it. Construct a farm. All right, we'll do that over here. Got to give it some space. So we'll do it like right here. And zoom out just a wee bit. A wee bit. And once they're done there, we're going to go ahead and lay plots down for the farm. Or not, because we don't have, I think probably we don't have the stone and we don't have the wood. All right, so we're gonna get the wood. Grab the wood. Grab the wood here. Let's take all these. Take all these trees. The Anbu won't care. All right. Now it's done, so we're gonna go ahead and assign plots. So go ahead and add plot. We'll just do this like. Actually, we'll do this area right here. There we go. All right. There's a plot area. Set the amount of workers to see your farm to at least three. All right, so we'll do three. We'll do four, actually, because we like to have food, right? Construct at least two air walls. All right, we'll do air walls. Does it matter where they are? I guess it doesn't matter as long as... Yeah, it doesn't matter. So we'll just put them right here. Actually, we'll take this thing out. Take... Oh, wrong button. Take you out. In fact, we'll prioritize that. Prioritize. There you go. That way I can have my little spot right there. Thank you. Have a great day. 
You're doing great work. Got to get some stone as well, because it looks like probably something's holding it up. I thought it was stone, and it is stone. All right. So we're going to get some more stone. And then, you know what we'll do? We're going to... Uh, I think there's a, a pantry. Yeah, we're going to do pantry. So that's going to help us put some keep some food from spoiling. We have wood and stone needs, so we'll go ahead and grab some of those. Alright, let's come over here and see if we have other stone over here. And then we will grab some more wood. In fact, let's grab all this right here. Clear this spot out so I can see where all the berries are. There we go. All right, good to go. Construct at least two air walls. Why haven't we done the second one? Oh, because we have no stone. Zero stone. All right, so we have nine actually, so you should be doing that. Let's go ahead and prioritize that, you fools. All right. Let them build that, and then we're going to go ahead and... Oh, we, we did our pantry. That's good. Construct a water tank. Oh, look. I went, I went ahead a little bit. I'm going to go with that, though. All right, so water tank can... What is this? Let's move it. Can I move it? I want it out of there. I want to put my water tank there. Somebody come move it, please. Anybody? <laughs> Just ignore it then. Fine. All right, we're going to put a water tank here then. And we'll put something else there eventually. All right, and you know what? It looks like there's a material storage here. Let's do... Actually, that's what I'd like to put there. We'll put it here instead. And that way they can put a little wood there. Oh, it looks like we have to do that anyways. I didn't even read it. Thinking ahead, man. Alright, that way we can get all this wood up and make our area look just a little bit more clean. I was hoping that they'd... Okay, you can only put 50 berries in there, that's why. Construct a research building. Okay, wait, hold on a second. Make a decision for the current biome event. Alright, you encountered a small group of nomads looking for a new home. Will you let them join your village? Yeah. Let's pick them up. Commit. Three healthy people joined our group. So we're going to go ahead and now build a research building, which we can do here at the end. Mm. Let's give it a couple more spaces there. So we need to build more tents. There we go. We have, hopefully, I think everybody has a tent, I'd imagine. How many can these hold? Amount of beds, two. We'll have 10, I believe. Then we had 8, 9, 11. So, yeah, we'll have enough for all the people we have. That's good. What is this? What is this saying? Storage full. All right. So, I think we're going to need something more than just the one pantry. What are my people? All right, so it says construct a research building, select kitchen for research. So we'll do that. And then we'll keep an eye on our supplies here up in the upper left-hand corner. Let's go look to see what the Ambu's doing. You're, you're, you're walking. It looks like you're walking down here. So do I, I wonder if I tell it what to go, which way to go. I can't, I think I'd, I can with the right research, with the right building. But I don't have that building yet, so we'll come back. Alright, everybody's sort of just looking. So, construct a worker post. We'll do that. We'll build it here. It can be harvested, but it reduces on boot trust. Ooh, I don't want to do that. We don't want to harvest its spikes. 
deploy at least two carriers. All right, there we go. Deploy at least three workers. There's general workers in the worker post. So let's go ahead and make them general workers now. And construct a carpenter and construct a stone cutter. All right. There we go, carpenter. Build one there. And then we will build a stone cutter. Uh, like right there. Let's do it. Looks like we're gonna need more wood. Always need more wood. All right, once we've done that, so there's a lot of food just like sitting around. I wonder if we need to build another pantry. Let's see what that is. Pantry, yeah. I mean, does it make sense to build more pantries or do you get to like upgrade them eventually? a lot of food just like laying around and I don't know if it like spoils or anything funny enough that spot is now open not funny at all all right so can wait for kitchen research to finish so that should be done soon 86 87 percent and then what are they putting in there? Turnips? Yeah, they're putting in, or beets, sorry. Okay, they're putting beets in there, which means we have beets and berries. Hopefully my people are happy then. Yeah, they seem happy. Basic total people, total housing. All right, so, oh, I don't know what. Uh, we'll do the village doctor, because if we ever get poisoned, I don't want to be in that spot. I remember the last time that I played this, I got into the that really <laughs> bad situation where everybody was getting poisoned and died and then I lost it was awesome all right so let's pause it for a second so I can find the kitchen there's the kitchen mm. can I move these am I able to move them no all right so we will we will just go ahead and build it right here and we'll make it all pretty with this. There we go. It looks like we're gonna need more stone, so we'll go ahead and start to harvest more stone. But this seems to be like the biggest hangout in this game, stone. There's not much of it either, so I wonder what happens when you when you use it all, when you harvest it all. In fact, I really wonder what the hell the end game is like. Like, what's the end goal? The Anbu takes me somewhere, I imagine, maybe? Oh, he's going to sleep. All right, constructor said, uh, oh, we're doing wood planks and stone slabs for this one. All right, so we're gonna need more wood and stone. And so, let's find some more wood. After we find a couple more stone, actually we'll just take like this whole area right there. I don't want to harvest his, his thorns. Right, I think we're actually we're not good on food. I don't know if we're good on food or not. I think we are. We're doing well on food. So. Actually, I'm just going to leave it. I was about to say that we should take off one of these farmers, but I think we're going to leave the farmer in there. And let's construct this dying kitchen. Alright, let's zoom out. No need for that. He's asleep. It's asleep. I don't want to, I don't want to give it a gender. <laughs> I don't know if Anbus have genders. Maybe it's just a unigender, omnigender, every gender. All right, so almost done here. Stone slab, so that means we need more stone, which is our sticking point yet again. That sounds like, I mean, it kind of sounds like, I guess it's rain. Because we're in like a rainforest or something. Yeah, I think that's what it is.
All right, so I a research village doctor construct herbalist assign plot seer herbalist. Let's do scavenger hunt then. All right, so research village. We did that. And we're gonna put the village doctor down somewhere. If I know where it is, there it is. That's where it is. It could have been there the whole time. Construct herbalist. I know this is the same thing, so we need to give like space. No, it won't, it won't be good there. Let's put it there. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get rid of that tree and that tree too. And then we're going to wait. Did I just? Yeah. Okay. Herbalist, village doctor. We're gonna put the village doctor. We'll put it. It. We're gonna put it right here. And then we're gonna draw a little line here with the little dirt road. So I just like things to look a little organic. <laughs> not on. Not like this. This is like a little row home situation here. Sign plots to your herbalist. All right. So let's do that. We're gonna do the same thing we did before and just like make a box. There we go. And then we're constructing the village doctor, which needs stone slabs again. Another stopping point. Oh, there's a bunch of stone, actually. We're good. All right. In fact, it might be that the wood planks... No, I think we'll be right. Let's, let's increase the speed here. You guys aren't doing it fast enough. Do it faster. Come over here and take that. And then you know what? We're also going to harvest these two. Because I want to I want to create space here. For my fledgling city or village or whatever the heck. It's, I mean, it's a village. It's a wandering village, remember? Constructive village doctor is should be done soon. It should be done any minute. When it's done, Ooh, I like I like the sound effects. I hear the like little wolves in the background, or I guess I think they're wolves, maybe doves or whatever. <laughs> There's something owls. That's what they are. They're owls. I knew that. All right. Disable your village doctor. Disable it. Okay. Scavenger hut. Allows you to send out missions via the world map. These missions can yield rewards ranging from villagers to rare resources. We don't have the scavenger hut yet. We're about to. Look at that. Perfect timing. Cactus plantation. Learn how to grow cacti on your farm. Cacti are an alternative water source in hot climates. Form blower. Let's go and do, do that for now. And meanwhile, we're going to grab the... Oh, it's probably over here. That's where it is. Scavenger hut. I guess it has to be... Oh, that's weird. It's got to be, like, only in these spots. So it needs more wood planks and more stone. No surprise. So we'll go ahead and take these. And I guess, like, yeah, eventually we'll be able to take these. So like, 200 stone. That's a lot. Yeah, now the wood slabs are the the hold up the wood plank sorry all right the things are starting to come along here as you can see my little fledgling village is becoming self-sufficient I wonder how far I have to go into this tutorial before things get hard <laughs> like where people are dying like they did last time if you haven't checked it out I did a couple episodes a while back and this is definitely an improved game since then. Uh, a lot of the UI elements are great. I love this tutorial. It's definitely helping. But, yeah, the, the game in general just looks cleaner and smoother and more polished. So that's really cool to see. But, yeah, if you want to go back and look at it, we I died. I died early. I think I died, like, episode two. So. The Anbu evacuated its bowels. That's different. See, where are we going? Alright. 
so there's people over there poisoned nomads but we don't want those guys they're gonna have to stay away so I'm not a scavenging mission okay so open map let's go here send party to the shrine bring back knowledge from the scavenging mission all right that's what we're going to do. And then when we do that, we're going to call it an episode. So, technologies that require knowledge are marked with a, a magnifying glass symbol? Yeah, sure. That's what it looks like to me. All right. I guess this scrolls down. There we go. Scavenger party returned. They brought back one knowledge. Very good. All right, so does that mean that like, I think this is the research thing? Show research tree. So a tomato plantation requires one knowledge. So there's, there's more to this, right? Yeah, no, there's a lot more to this. All right, on boo, sleep command. I mean, there's, there's actually, this is actually bigger and it's, it's now broken down into three different like subsections, which is cool. I like that. So I hope that in the future it continues to, you know, evolve. Looks like we're done with the tutorial, so that's a good point to start another episode. Hopefully you're enjoying this so far. I think that, like I said, the game looks like it's become really polished and really just, you know, in a much better state than it was even in the demo state, like, I don't know, two months ago? It wasn't long ago, so... You know, it's about to enter here and enter early access. Stay tuned for episode two, where I'll continue to play and see if maybe it's just kind of opening the reins or letting go of the reins, whatever it is that that saying is. <laughs> it's opening it up. That's what it's doing. And, you know, maybe that will be just like a free play point. So, yeah, come on back. This was Rob from Explomate. Until next time, keep exploring.